everyone. Today we are starting trigonometry for CSEC mathematics. My first tutorial starts with Pythagoras theorem and the trig ratios. So Pythagoras' theorem states for a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. And in a right angle triangle, the side that is opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. So if we square this side, that is equal to if we square the other two sides and add them. So this gives us the formula a squared equal b squared plus c squared. Pythagoras' theorem is used to find the length of an unknown side in a right angle triangle given the lengths of the other two sides. There are no angle theta involved. In the formula above, A is the hypotenuse of the triangle. And if we need to find the value of one of the sides that is not the hypotenuse, let's say the side C, then we can rearrange the formula above to give us C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. So just looking back at that formula, this can be rearranged to give c squared equal a squared minus b squared and to find the value of c we find the square root of that value examples example one find the length of the side yz in the triangle below so the side yz as we can see is the hypotenuse of the triangle so we are using the formula directly so the hypotenuse squared, so that's yz squared, is equal to the other two sides being squared and adding them together. So we have 4 squared plus 3 squared, which gives us 16 plus 9, which is equal to 25. But the answer, the final answer is not 25. This is yz squared. We need to find yz. So therefore we take the square root of 25, which gives us 5 cm. Example 2. Find the length of the side JK. So we see that JK is this side of the triangle. It is not the hypotenuse of the triangle as our previous example. So I'm just starting off with the formula directly from Pythagoras theorem which says that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. And from this, I'm just rearranging to make JK the subject of the formula. So we have JK squared is equal to JL squared minus KL squared. This is similar to the formula we looked at before, where we had C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. And that gives us 12 squared minus 10 squared, which is equal to 44. So JK is the square root of 44, which is 6.63 centimeters to two decimal places. Trig ratios. The ratios of the sides of a right angle triangle are called trigonometric ratios. Three trig ratios are, the common ones would be sine, cos, and tan. So in a right angle triangle, this angle here, if it's theta, then adjacent is the side that is touching that angle. So this green line is the adjacent side. Opposite is obviously the side opposite the angle. So that's this blue line. And as you saw before, that the hypotenuse is always the side that is opposite the right angle. So the trig ratios are written here. We have sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And just a way to remember these three formulas, we can just remember so ka toa. The trig ratios can be used to find the length of an unknown side or the size of an angle theta in a right angle triangle. Example 1. Finding the length of the side in this right angle triangle labeled X. So we have the angle 30 degrees. 
we have five centimeters and we have x that's the information that's given on the diagram if this side is the angle and x is opposite the right angle then x is the hypotenuse and then the five centimeters is opposite the 30 degrees so we have the opposite side so we need a formula that has opposite and hypotenuse that formula would be sine theta so sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse theta is our angle which is 30 our opposite side is 5 our hypotenuse is x so we are just substituting those values into the formula so rearranging I will have x multiplied by sine 30 is equal to 5 which gives us x is equal to 5 divided by sine 30 and if we put that into the calculator we will get 10 centimeters ensure that your calculator is in degrees mode for all of our calculations so example 2 we would like to find the side labeled x so from our diagram we have if our angle is up here 65 degrees then this 12 cm is a side touching that angle so this is the adjacent side and x is opposite the angle so formula is needed with opposite and adjacent so that formula would be tan theta equal opposite over adjacent so substituting our values we have theta is 65 degrees opposite side is x adjacent side is 12 and making x the subject of the formula will give us 12 multiplied by tan 65 which gives 25.7 centimeters to one decimal place example 2 deals with finding the size of the angle theta so the first part determine the size of the angle theta to one decimal place and if this is the angle theta here then the 8 cm is opposite the angle and the 14 centimeters is the hypotenuse now the size opposite and adjacent is always relative to where theta is positioned in the triangle so in this particular triangle because theta is here that 8 cm is opposite the theta but if theta happens to be written at the top of the triangle here then this now would have become the adjacent side all right but in this case we have opposite and hypotenuse so the formula that is needed for this is sine theta equal opposite over hypotenuse I'm substituting the values that I have opposite is 8 centimeters hypotenuse is 14 and to get theta we need to take the inverse trig function so now we have theta equal sine inverse of open bracket 8 over 14 close brackets of course if you reduce the 8 over 14 fraction and then take the inverse you would get the same answer so theta is equal to 34.8 degrees and for those of you who are unsure of how to get this into the calculator to get the inverse trig function we press second function on the calculator and then sine cos or tan as needed so sine inverse would be second function sine in the calculator open brackets 8 over 14 close brackets equal and you will get your 34.8 degrees so in our next example we have our theta being here we need to find the value of theta we are given two sides in the triangle now we can notice immediately that this 19.2 cm is the hypotenuse since it's a side opposite the right angle now because theta is at the top here this 11 cm is a side touching this angle so 11 cm is the adjacent side of the triangle and we need to get a formula with adjacent and hypotenuse so for our three trig ratios the one that is relevant for our calculations would be cos theta equal adjacent over hypotenuse and filling in our values our adjacent side is 11 hypotenuse is 19.2 so theta it will be equal to cos inverse of 11 over 19.2 which gives 55 degrees all right so whenever we need to find the value of theta we have to use the inverse trig function so just to recap what we did we looked at pythagoras theorem which says for a right angle triangle 
the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So we have a squared equal b squared plus c squared. And it's also important to note that Pythagoras theorem is only valid for right angle triangles. If it's not a right angle triangle, then this formula will not be applicable. Pythagoras' theorem is used to find the length of an unknown side in a right angle triangle given the lengths of the other two sides. So there are no angles involved in Pythagoras' theorem. Whenever we have a triangle where we are given two lengths and we need to find the third length, we use Pythagoras. The trig ratios are sine theta equal opposite over hypotenuse, cos theta equal adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan theta equal opposite over adjacent. And an easy way for remembering these three formulas would be so toa. Again, the trig ratios similar to Pythagoras theorem are only applicable to right angle triangles. These three cannot be used for triangles that are not a right angle triangle. All right, so trig ratios can be used to find the length of an unknown side or the size of an angle in a right angle triangle. So we looked at those two cases where we needed to find the length of a side given another side and an angle in the first example and then in the second example we looked at where we were given two sides and needed to find the angle theta so trig ratios have two applications here so thank you for watching the video our next topic would be applications of the trig ratios in terms of angles of elevation and depression thank you